We need a plan to stop them. We fight or we die. That's the point. What's up, everybody? This is Justin Davis. I'm here with Destin Legary. Uh, we're in the Citadel conference room at IGN. Destin and I both got a chance to play the new Mass Effect 3 demo um, that's coming out on February 14th. I was taking a look at it mostly to sort of see the Kinect functionality, and you can read all that on IGN.com already. But Destin is a much bigger Mass Effect story nerd than I, I am. A huge story nerd. And so, much, so. Um, we're going to ruin the whole demo for you yeah, pretty much is, right now. Major is, spoilers yeah, coming. Seriously. So when this demo opens, uh, Shepard is in a very dark place. Uh, what can you tell us about the opening of this demo? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a dark place, but things have definitely changed for Commander Shepard. For example, he's not even a commander at the moment. He is just Shepard. Right away we see him, he's in his room, and uh, James Vega comes in and salutes him. He's like, I'm not a commander anymore. You know, you don't have to do that. And he's like, I don't care, because he's nice. James Vega. He does what he wants. Of course he does. But um, right away, that's swept away, and they're brought out by Captain Anderson, who's like, the, the human council needs to talk to you right now. We need to rush out and uh, go see what, what's going on. Um, something's up, and uh, we okay. don't know what. Mysterious. Mm -hmm. On the way, you get to say hi to uh, Caden or Ashley. He was kind of like, Commander Shepard, he's like, yeah, hi. And then he goes and talks to the human council. Hey, what's up? We're still in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember us? And um, then you go talk to the human council, and they're like, Shepard, something's gone wrong. Uh, the moon is, you know, not responding to any of our communications. And uh, we're getting a distress signal from the UK. And he's like, what do you think it is? He's like, it's the Reapers. They don't think I have been telling you it's the Reapers for three years. They still don't believe it's the Reapers. Yeah, they still won't accept that it's the Reapers. But now they're starting to come along. And uh, they're like, well, what do we do? And you can be like, we stand together, you know, as one. Or it's like, we fight or we die. Those are the two options for the dialogue. We need a plan to stop them. We fight or we die. That's the point. They're still like, well, we don't know. Is it really the Reapers? And the UK transmission that they got, it goes dark like they get nuked by something and uh so they're still doubtful and then a reaper destroys their building pretty much killing most of the human council yeah there, you see dead bodies all over the place and uh so, one person survived so sure. they're all gone um of course shepherd somehow manages to find a way to survive even though the entire human council is uh, wiped out mm -hmm. um so this demo is really split into two major parts, and that's the first big sort of chunk of story uh, hints that we get about Mass Effect 3. Yeah. In the second half of this demo, uh, we see some characters return, and uh, we get some sort of hints about what role they're going to play in Mass Effect 3. Um, so who can, who can fans expect to see in this demo? Well, in the second half of the demo, one of my favorite characters makes another appearance, and it's Rex. He's back, and you're there with Rex, Garrus, and Liara. Liara and Garrus will come out with you and you'll be able to use them as your squad mates, nice. but Rex stays back when you go into this Solarian base, which is where you're going to get a female Krogan. And uh, so you go in and they're like, you guys can come in, Shepard. We, we're sorry. We just got this signal. Because like, they're fighting as right. soon as you get there because you're not supposed to be there. Right. And they're like, but that Krogan has to stay. He's out of control. Yeah. And uh, Rex drops in there's like, let's see how they handle the Krogan airdrop. And he just jumps in <laughs> and like force pushes all of them. Interesting. Yeah. So at this point, we're still not sure whether Rex is a playable character or not. Bioware teased us a little mm -hmm. bit in the demo. Yeah. And uh, I had an interview with a gentleman at the event uh, from Bioware who wouldn't tell me if Rex is playable. But he did say that if you've had interactions with characters like Jack, Legion, Rex, etc., they those interactions will play a role in this game. Interesting. They're yeah. being very cagey regarding yeah. Rex. So there's actually a renegade option where I'm like, well, what if I say, screw you, I'm bringing Rex in? Yeah. Uh, the Slarians say, do you want a second war going on? You have a war with the Reapers right now. We'll, we're willing to bring a war, too. So things between the Solarians and uh, the Krogan have really seemed like they've deteriorated even farther. Mm -hmm. Well, they're cloning, they're cloning a female Krogan, and that means the, the genophage could be at an end. You know, like, so she can have children, meaning it could stop the extinction of their race. So it's a major thing for the Krogan. And uh, so you fight all of these Cerberus agents who you have no idea why they're attacking you. Uh, Shepard even tries to ask one of them, like, what's going, what does Cerberus want? And the guy dies. He's like in a pool of his own <laughs> yeah, blood. Of course he does. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where it ends. So at the very end, we see Rex and the female Krogan who you've now released and you're taking with you. Um, leaving together, and uh, she grabs a shotgun from Rex when she sees some Cerberus agents walking up, 
puts two in their heads, and she's like, I can take care of myself, Rex. <laughs> so even that's she's a, a badass. It's an excellent female really Krogan voice. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's the end of the demo for uh, the second part. Well, it's definitely a nice taste of uh, sort of the story morsels that gamers are going to get to experience when Mass Effect 3 uh, drops in March. Oh, um, actually, yeah, one sorry, other one other thing. Morden is also in that demo. He's also not playable. He's like, oh, I'm stuck in this room. I can't join your <laughs> squad. I'm sorry. So, yeah. yeah, he's stuck behind some glass, it's a little yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah. So one other cool detail about this demo is that in the demo we played, it doesn't read your Mass Effect 1 and 2 saves, but Bioware still wanted to give gamers an opportunity to um, you know, experience the story in a few different ways. So there's a few story options you could choose to change how the demo plays out. Yeah, there's um, action, story, and role playing. And depending on which choice you make, um, you're saying it has dramatic effects on how your game plays. Yeah, that's absolutely true. So you can choose to play Mass Effect 3 three different ways. If you choose to play it action, um, the story choices are made for you. Um, You don't actually choose any story at all and you just sort of watch the story happening instead moving from one action sequence to the next. Role playing is just normal Mass Effect the same way that the first two games played out. And uh, story mode dials the combat down as easy as they could possibly make it. Um, Bioware told me the combat couldn't be removed entirely for technical reasons, but uh, they dialed it down super easy for gamers that just want to experience the story that Mass Effect 3 has to offer. Yeah, and when I played through, I played through on role playing because I wanted the full experience. Sure. And you get those Paragon or Renegade options in the chat dialogue, which is great. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, everyone at IGN is super pumped about Mass Effect 3. Um, you'll get a chance to see the demo for yourself. It comes out for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation on February 14th. Uh, for more on Mass Effect 3, keep it locked to IGN.com. Mm-hmm.